It's a beautiful day, the song went, as David Beckham made his entrance. World football's biggest earner hired today by China. World football's biggest underachievers to help raise their game. Beckham's impact was immediate. The girls of Beijing's number two middle school shrieked with delight. For years, football has had a bad reputation in China. The professional game rife with match fixing and corruption, standards poor. It means parents don't encourage their kids to play. So Beckham's job as China's first ever football ambassador is to lend his squeaky clean image to the sport, to help it draw new recruits. China's rising power, its growing wealth in the world, has brought it many things, but success on the football pitch is not one of them. Its leaders find that a source of embarrassment, and their hope is that David Beckham is the man to change it. He's a superstar, so he can influ influence more, uh, <laughs> um, uh, more fans like football uh, and play it. You know the football skill in China is used to be uh, poor. <laughs> and you think David Beckham can change yes, that? Yes, of course he can change it. But it's a long term, you need time to do that. China's first ever football ambassador is coy about how much China is paying him. Reports say it's half a million pounds a week to repair football's credibility here. I'm not a politician, so uh, anything that uh, has gone on in the past is nothing to do with me. But what is going on in the future will have something to do with me. So uh, I'm proud to be part of the grassroots uh, uh, policy and project that's going to be going on in the future, and that's, that's going to be my role. Some doubt Beckham alone can fix football's problems here. But even if he can't, the Beckham brand is already winning new fans among China's hundreds of millions of future consumers. Amy Gramatikas, BBC News, Beijing.